Hello YouTube, uh, this is a quick tutorial video on how to power a US Super Nintendo here in the UK and I did one of these many years ago and it was using parts from Maplins uh, unfortunately as Maplins is no more those parts are unobtainable and one of the parts is particularly hard to find uh, it turns out you can actually use the same little adapter I made in the previous video and just getting parts off eBay and it actually works out cheaper so I'll show you what I've done so yeah the main the main reason you want to do this is that you might get a US Super Nintendo and there's the power socket there and you'll soon find for various reasons the UK 9 volt AC power supply does not fit and there's a good reason for that it's because the UK Super Nintendo takes 9 volts AC uh, 1.8 amps and the US Super Nintendo takes 10 volts 1.2 amps and that's 10 volts DC so yeah if you were somehow to to get this to fit in there it would uh, blow that up pretty sharpish so what uh, another common retro system that takes 10 volts um, DC 1.2 amps is the Mega Drive 1 so if you get a Mega Drive 1 or Genesis 1 it's exactly the same power pack uh, this will power the Super Nintendo but unfortunately the jack doesn't fit so uh, a lot of import Super Nintendos come with um, a Mega Drive power pack and they used to chop this off and stick, um, stick a 7mm uh, jack on the end and you could do that but then you'd be sort of butchering a Mega Drive 1 power pack and they're you know again eventually they'll get quite hard to find so what I'm going to do is do what I did in the last video uh, with the Maplins parts and build a little adapter that this plugs into and then it'll plug into another jack that will fit in the back of this so the part that was hard to find was the 7mm jack to go in the back of the Super Nintendo uh, and that is this here as you can see it's um, different to the Mega Drive jack on the left so this is what plugs into the back of the Super Nintendo and you used to get, that, get them from Maplins just that part there but they're very hard to find so what I wound up doing was I got this cheap uh, Chinese US Super Nintendo and it's also Genesis as well because remember they're, they're both 10 volts uh, 1.2 amps so yeah it's like a dual power supply and it's pretty cheaply made I'll just show you what's inside not much at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the end off that and then solder it to a 2.1mm inline socket and they are dirt cheap on eBay I think I got 10 for a quid so I'm going to join them up like so that end will go in the back of the Super Nintendo and the 2.1 end 2.1mm end that is what the Mega Drive will plug into and so that will be just a little adapter to adapt this to fit in the back of that so without further ado let's uh, let's join them up okay so I just wanted to mention that um, uh, the US Super Nintendo the tip is negative so that's that little um, piece of metal in the middle there and that's got continuity to this, um, this little wire with white on it there so when you join it up to the 2.1 inline socket this thing you want to join the negative up to that little middle prong there which is um, where, where, where are we? which is this little um, this little nub at the back there that's the, that's the positive outer ring so all you've got to do is solder that to that little middle point and that one to that one and then reattach it in its outer casing and that should be a nice little pass through adapter so I'll um, I'll get it soldered and then let's have a look at the final product and see if it works okay so I've got all that soldered in uh, it's going to be quite hard to see but yeah so once that's all soldered in just check uh, continuity between the middle point there and the middle point there they should have continuity and the same for the um, 
two outer edges of the barrel there. So once that's done, uh, just screw the casing of that connector into place. And there we go, we've got a little um, a little adapter. Mega Drive 1, Stroke Genesis 1 to US Super Nintendo adapter. So that's just a pass through. All it, all it is is, is uh, just the sizes of the barrels really, because the Mega Drive 1 won't fit in the Super Nintendo. So it's just adapting that to something that will fit. So, let's plug it in and see if it works. Okay, so we've got my little connector there hooked up to the Mega Drive Mark 1 power supply. And if we turn the power on, there we go. We've got power. Now, I've not actually hooked this up to a TV because this uh, Super Nintendo has got issues with um, the board. It's got video out issues. So there's nothing appearing on the screen. But yeah, that just goes to show that, that it is getting the, uh, getting the power to the board. So I'll put um, links in the description below to where I got the things. They're pretty cheap on eBay. So yeah, this is a, a cheap and easy way to get, get your US Super Nintendo powered here in the UK. Thanks for watching, guys.